Okay, as we walk into Porter, flooring is gorgeous, hardwood flooring throughout the whole house. You do have a step that comes up railing, but this is the living space that looks out front to Portner on the front, which is pretty nice. So it's pretty big. You can see a sofa in here. You do have some space. Um, this area could either be formal dining or just one big, large living room. And it then walks into the kitchen. This is a hall closet. You just have a closet to put coats right here. The stairs to go down, which we'll get in a minute, and the stairs to go up. But what's nice, the flooring is the same throughout the house. This is the back of the home. It looks out, so you could put another table here if you want, but it also does have the room to have the bar stools at the counter. Nice big island, which is sweet, nice. Lots of light, so it's rainy today, it's very dark, and there's a lot of light in here in the big windows. Marble, wine fridge, gas stove, refrigerator. Pantry you would have right here, which is pretty nice with the pull-out drawers. So that would be your pantry space. Um, microwave up here, and then your dishwasher is on the island, which is pretty nice. And it does at least use a cor uh, one of the corner cabinets here, which is nice with the Lazy Susan in it. Oh, really. We walk out the back door. It is all patio, so this is no yard work for you whatsoever. But at least there's a little room if you wanted to put a place up for the kids. You know, one of the like climbing things, by a little tight, some padding. You could do your AC double unit. And then it does walk out. This is the common area right here to all the townhomes. It's really nice. So there's a bench here. I mean, it kind of adds some space because really there wouldn't be a lot going through here on the back end. And this is just all the areas that you can walk, which is super nice down. Cause you can walk to Old Town from here along the river actually on the path. So you can kind of get an idea how close the townhomes are, but they're all really nice and brick. And this one is an in-town unit, um, which keeps up the value, which is nice. You only have a neighbor on one side. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the downstairs. And this is a unique townhome situation here which is really nice because of the parking, which you're worried about. There are two parking spaces with this unit. So to come into the garage, there's a door right here. People deadbolt lock as you walk out, garage. parking garage. And I believe um, 13 and 12, I'm not sure what the two numbers are. There are two spaces, but I think it's 12 and 13 right here close to your door that are your spaces. And as you can see here, um, everyone stores their bikes down here. This is a gated garage. Right, pick it up. So what's great, this is a secure garage with um, a, the gated right there and a fob to get in. That's awesome down here in Alexandria, but it's really nice. Everybody's cars right here, very clean. Some people use one space for storage or two cars, but these are your two spaces right here, which is really nice. Nice garage right here. And then you would just go back in the door. And as you come back in, you do have a storage area right here to the right with some shelving. And I think they have the dimensions on the floor plan that was on the pictures and I can resend that to you if you'd like. But there's a lot of shelves right here, super nice. You can put a lot of stuff here. And then they do have a little area to go right under the store, the uh, stairs. You can put all your Christmas stuff there. Come upstairs, we'll go back upstairs. And it's nice, they do have a nice Berber carpet on the stairs, but it does match. The wood flooring does match all the other flooring. But a nice Berber. And as you come up the stairs, you would have the primary bedroom here to the left or a regular room. It's a pretty big one. So this looks out to the front of the house, but this is a great size room. As you're looking out the front, you do have a nook here, either a desk, TV, nightstand. You can easily put a king size bed in this room and still have a ton of room um, for other furniture or items. And then walking back here, we have the primary bathroom. 
which is nice and big. It's a large bathroom, so you do have a shower. You do have a tub. If you ever want to remodel, I would take that out and put a standing tub. You can make it a lot bigger. But it's really nice. You do have tile. This looks out to the back of the house. It does have the double sinks here, which are nice high ceilings. And then you do have the toilet and a closed door by itself. And then you have a, lot, a linen closet inside the bathroom. And as you come back out, you do have the two closets. So this one would be the larger walk-in right here, good size. And then right across from this, we do have one more that's right here, which would be nice. The stairs, primary bedroom right there, which is nice. These are the stairs to the other bedrooms. You guys are gonna love that when the kids are older. And then you do have the laundry right here on the, this second floor. Design. So this townhome is four levels, but nice with laundry on this floor. And let's go back up to the, to the fourth floor. And I love it. There's a lot of light on the end here because this is an in townhome unit. So you do have all these extra windows on the end that give it a lot of light. I think there's five levels. Um, you're definitely going to get your steps. Good size bedroom here. You can easily put a queen bed, a dresser. This looks directly out front, directly over the primary bedroom, bedroom number one. And it is an ensuite with its own bathroom. Make a great guest room or one of the child's rooms perfect with a closet. And then over here, you could either have a study, no light in it, you either have a study with it, great office space, there is a closet right here, and this just has no light. I would put recessed lighting in here, but this is great. And then over here, we have the second bedroom, about the same size as bedroom number one as we came up. It looks over the back of the house versus the front of the house. It has a great closet here, lots of light, and a good size closet. And the Berber carpet's the same throughout the house which is really nice. There is a bathroom right here. So we just have the regular bathroom. One sink, toilet, and shower, but it's a good size bathroom. So if you started from the very bottom garage, there are five levels to this house. Going up to the very top here, which you could use as a guest room, a playroom, an entertainment room, an office, it has the great dormer windows. Look out the front of the house here. Great space. It's a great work from home office area up here. Um, it'd be very super quiet. You could use this as a guest space because it is so on your top floor. You do have a full bathroom and a walk-in closet. So it does have a nice bathroom is really nice and then a closet and then your second HVAC system is up here at top with your hot water heater. Great guest area or great office. Look at this, this level um, back up so laundry going upstairs looks so great. The only room up here is the primary bedroom master or the master bedroom so that is you guys are, would be on a level by yourself if you had guests or with kids. Um, that's, a, that's just a huge bonus it's your own it's like your own level. Um, you do see outside of the townhomes, those are your neighbors across the way, but this is the stairwell that you see out of with the blinds on it.